we're going to practice centering the wheel and throwing a cylinder. So step one, make sure your clay is firmly on the wheel head. Make sure you've got water on the clay and hold your hand at a right angle, straight fingers. This hand is out like stop. Ring finger and pinky finger are down. Elbows in tight. Put your clay on center. Next step is to cone the clay. Scoop it up with your heels or your palms and then smush down. Recenter. Cone. Smush. Recenter. By now your clay should be pretty well on center. If it's not, take your time and wait till it is. Remember, hold your arms very still and let the clay take the form of your hands. Notice where it's hitting here on the heel of your hand, here on the side of your hand. Next step is to open the pot. Hover with your non-writing hand. Pick up your elbow and go straight in with your finger. Check your depth with your thumb. Add water. Double finger. And then pull straight back towards your thigh. Tension level. Position is pinch and then finger on top to level. Um, take your rib, use the right angle of the rib. Stand it upright on the wheel, pressing in with your middle finger on the inside of the pot to create a nice vertical edge. Pinch and level. Make your hands like a butterfly. Use your middle fingers to lift the clay and pull up. Shift in your seat to where your nose is over the right hand wall if you're right handed, left hand if you are left handed. Pull straight up towards your nose. You don't have to be going super fast. You can adjust the speed with a foot pedal. Probably will take two or three pulls. You're going for a wall that's about as thick as a standard number two pencil. Third pull. I'm going to decrease pressure at the rim so it doesn't get too thin. Take the rib. You're going to check the verticalness of the wall one more time. You scrape and then use your middle finger to press up against that vertical wall of the rib. And you have a cylinder. This clay has an air bubble in it, but that's okay. We'll pop it later. Um, next thing you're going to do is you're going to thin out the bottom of the pot. So remember not to touch the clay unless it's spinning. Hold your rib this way. Go up at a 45 and towards yourself at a 45. Maybe a little support on the inside would be good. Take some of the volume off the bottom. You can see it knocked off center just a little bit so we're going to go slow and careful. Take the sponge, dry out the inside. Dry out the outside, round the edge. Now it's time to cut it off the wheel head. A little bit of water on the surface. Dry off your hands. Make sure your bat is ready. Take your wire, like you're flossing a brontosaurus. Press straight down, very gently turn the wheel. Gather some of the water and pull straight back towards your belly. Until it releases, holding the wire tight down on the wheel head, twist, your hand's cupped. If it deforms, you just want to tap it slightly so you get it back into shape. It goes on the plaster bat, underneath a little bit of plastic until the next class, and then you can trim it. Don't forget to clean the wheel.